Welcome to the channel everybody, this is Hardware Despair, my name is Ryan, and today we are playing Unreal World. This is the winter challenge, hurt, helpless, and afraid, let's do it. So here we are, right by the camp, now, oh, there's a bird over there, hey Mr. Bird. Now we are actually kind of cool here, I was out, out doing a lot of running around and stuff, I think our clothing is still pretty good, yeah, clothing's still fine, we just got really cold, it's, I think the temperature probably just dropped a lot, so let's, let's stoke this fire a little bit, because I've got plenty I think we, we've done enough hunting for now. Of course, we've never really done enough, but at, as it stands, we've got some meat, plus we got more on the way. So I think we're okay if we spend a little time by the fire actually crafting up some trading goods. So that's what I want to work on. Let's see here. So let's go to our crafting menu. Now, I had mentioned something about doing uh, shovels, so those are going to be good. Uh, but, 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 but I would like to mix in some other stuff. So let's just see what we've got here. Shovel. Let's see. Someone also mentioned that I should probably go ahead and try and craft up the skis, which I don't disagree with at all. 100% we should. Mm. Let's just do another shovel real quick. Let's get that out of the way. Very good. Not much going on. I mean, we, we did try some hunting in the last episode, tried quite a bit of it. I think we, we encountered one big elk, but he got away. So it's just not really the ideal time for it. This uh, location is fairly decent in terms of its uh, openness and how much marshland is available to hunt on, but we just haven't had much luck. All right, well, it's pretty late, so let's hit the sack for tonight and we'll do some more crafting in the morning. Wow, okay, yeah, we woke up still cool. I mean, I had a little fire going for a while, but it did go out, so... The temperature must be like ridiculously cold out there right now. We are so lucky we got that uh, big elk kill early on. All right, let's get another fire going. Like I say, we are going to do some crafting. Oh, boy. All right, there we go. We've got something. Actually, I want to zoom out real quick. Okay, it's not quite light enough, but I should check the traps next time uh, the, as soon as the sun comes out. Uh, so let's see here. What do we have in terms of leather? I've got these rough leather boots. To be honest, I might be able to make some uh, skis. The only problem with skis is I can't, I don't have any boards, so I could make like the ski, uh, the ski stick. We could make that, but I don't think yeah we need two boards, and I can't make boards with the stone axe. That's something I've tried in the past, and I'm fairly certain it's not going to be possible. I can cut down trees and stuff, as we've discovered, and I probably will do another tree. Let's go ahead and chop one down. One of the big boys. It takes them a while. It's a lot quicker if you got like a, a woodcutter's axe or something. All right, so we'll move this over here. I'm going to use it. I, I intend to use it as blocks, but we will try to ch chop it up into boards here. Let's see how this goes. First, let me eat a little bit. Have a little meal. Ah, yes, yeah, very delicious. Look at these, uh, the Capricelli cuts. They're, they're, pretty, uh, they're pretty bland. We don't enjoy those. But that's okay. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and do a board here. I'm going to try for board. Nope. See, it says this task takes far too long to accomplish. This task is practically impossible. So the stone axe, if we have a regular or the right kind of axe, we can do boards. But unfortunately, skis just won't work. But that's okay. Um, I think I'm going to continue to make some shovels. Let's see here. Utility articles, shovel. It's it's a good compromise between, I think, value and the time it takes to make it. Because it is quite quite a chore. It takes several hours. But, you know, you can get, I don't know, four or five arrows for one of these probably. So, as long as the quality is decent. We'll see. We'll determine that later on. I'm anxious to actually do a little trading, though. We might be able to get some interesting stuff. Maybe even a dog. Well, these uh, forest cuts that I've got, or the forest reindeer cuts that I've got drying right here, they will be ready by midnight tonight. So we're about to get another couple pounds of food. So let's check out just how much we've got. Oh, yeah, I've got a, quite a bit. Honestly, I think we might be able to make a quick trip, maybe do a little trading. I'll take the rough leather boots. Maybe we can trade those for something better. Let's see, it's good to just take basically everything, even this harsh stuff, which they might just reject or the three pound fur, you know, who knows? We might be able to use it as some sort of collateral. I bet you they're not gonna really want much of this harsh stuff, but we'll take it anyway. Uh, the bones, they definitely won't want. Let's see, yep, we're taking our shovels, of course. All right, that's it. It's not a lot, to be honest, it's not really a lot. I don't think they'll want these staves too. 
Mm, that's 12 pounds. We can carry it. Let's just bring it. We'll try it. Like I said, it's not no harm in it. All right, so we've got basically all our stuff except for this food here. So I will, yeah, I will go ahead and make another shoveler or two, I think. Well, probably just one because it does take a while. But uh, once we get that food, we're going to make a trip over the world. And we're going to see how it goes. I might have to turn around. If, if we can't handle the weather, <laughs> we'll see how it goes. Okay, well, I was just about to leave and I decided, yep, we better check the traps and look at this. We've got two birds out here, so that's going to delay things a little bit, but it's not the end of the world. Let me grab this one. Black grouse carcass. Okay, he just died on his own. I guess he was probably in the trap for too long. That's okay, but we've still got him. Now let's go grab this one. I'll go ahead and process these up. I mean, like I said, they're, they're very small pieces of leather, so it won't take me very long. And then we're going to do some trading. Okay, well it is early morning. I've got those skins done and I've got them on me. We'll try to trade those as well. They ended up being harsh too. We're still working on our tanning and hide working skill. It's pretty low, uh, but you can see it has gone up. So it was good to get those bird skins done. I'm sure that helped to get us leveled. You can also see stealth. Stealth has gone up quite a bit, but everything else has been kind of stagnated, which is a little disappointing, but we are pretty good at tracking though, aren't we? All right, anyway, so uh, one thing I want to do before we go is I'm going to do a little sacrifice here. I've got that roasted black uh, grouse cut, a little piece that I nibbled on. We'll go ahead and sacrifice that. Oh, okay, now we feel comfortable. It's time for our trip, folks. So let's take a quick look at the world map here. It's good it's zoomed out because our destination is over here to the west, yes. And when we zoom in, you'll see this turquoise area here, not the blue, this turquoise civilization, that's what we're looking to reach. Now, there is a river between us and them, but it really doesn't matter because it's the height of winter, so it'll be frozen over. We'll be able to cross it. In fact, it'll be, oh, look at that. There's that uh, little village we just, uh, we've discovered earlier. Um, I'm pretty much just going to blindly run. Oh, okay. We just discovered another village down there to the, uh, let's see, let me, let me get my cursor over here down there to the southwest there's another little village it's unaffiliated so this one yeah this is another one that's not part of any civilization so i'm just going to ignore it for now odds are they're fairly poor and don't have a lot of stuff most likely but um that's why we're headed over to the turquoise i don't remember their exact name of their culture but I just know for a fact that they're the rich ones. Okay, so this is the river here. You can see I did find a portion of it that is, uh, these are rapids, basically. If I were to uh, jump into the local terrain map here, this river section would still be water, essentially. Yeah, so it's just too fast flowing to form ice on it, basically. And it's just small sections of the river, you'll see, are like that. Anyway, oh, and this river is actually, it's got several branches on it. So if we, if we came out here in the spring or summer, we'd have to wade across that river or try and swim it. But I don't recommend that. Or if you have a boat, that'll work too. <laughs> All right, so we're completely fatigued. We're tired. Let's go ahead and try and sleep. Might be a bit of a challenge, but okay, we got lucky. There was no snowfall, so if it starts snowing too heavily, you won't be able to sleep outdoors. But this trading adventure, like I said, it's a bit of a risk, but we're comfortably warm. So the other risk, of course, is running into bandits, which is fairly rare, but here we can see we've almost reached the edge of their border. So um, as we enter this, you won't notice anything. It's not like it changes color or anything, but you do need to kind of look out for some of those uh, settlements. And anytime they pop into your view, it'll pause the game essentially and tell you. It'll notify you. So this is good. Ah, oh, here we go. So it just happened. It says, as you explore the wilderness, a settlement comes into view. And I can see it. It's down here to the southwest. So I'm just going to walk right over this water. Ah, there's another one too. So yeah, when you get into highly populated areas like this, where there's uh, culture, basically, you will see multiple cities and settlements. So that's pretty sweet. Let's jump into this one first. I mean, why not? Doesn't matter. Now, this one's actually surrounded by a wall, so we'll need to find the opening. And just from my experience, I know it's always on the east side. There should be one right there in the middle. One single little opening. <laughs> All right. Hey there. Let's talk to this person real quick. Hello. How's it going? Who are you? My name is Tuka. Just fine days go by. Da, 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 da. All right. Doesn't look... 
Oh, wait, there is a quest. Okay, see the very last sentence? But our lassie, the Dricolus Hunter, needs help with some chores. Um, let's see here. We'll go to four. Lassie, a while ago he was inside the northwest. So if we head northwest, we should probably find him. Um, I can see right here in this little fenced in area, they've got some sheep, which is really cool. Now, let me talk to this person real quick, random person. I'm going to hit buy an animal. I just want to see is that if that's all they have. Oh, okay. So they have animals, but they're keeping them. So they won't always necessarily be willing to trade you animals, which is unfortunate, but that's just how it goes. Maybe they'll get some more next season. Who knows? Anyway, let's take a quick look at some of their trade goods before I go do any questing or anything. In fact, I might skip that quest for now. Come back to it at another point. Quests aren't super necessary in this game. It's open world, so you can do whatever you want. All right, let's see. Roast, links cuts are at my feet, and seeds. Oh, an axe would be nice. Really, what I'm looking for first, my big priority, is bow and arrow. That's number one on my list. So if these people don't have a bow and arrow, I'll probably leave without trading anything. I'm not really interested in anything they have just yet, unless it's a bow and arrow first. So... That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to look around here. Ooh, I don't see anything yet. So well, I'll let you guys know if I find anything promising. Well, sadly, they didn't have any bows there. So they did have a crossbow, but that's a different skill. And we are not good at crossbows. So I'm just going to leave. Didn't do any trading there. That's just how it goes. Now, um, I wish they had had some animals because I want to show you what I normally do, but we'll check this place out. Hopefully they'll have some animals to trade and I can kind of show off what I like to do with these, uh, with the map and marking each town or village I stop by so we know what's what. All right, so let's just talk to him real quick and I'm going to hit buy animal because I want to see. Okay, so he does have sheep for sale. That's good to know. Trading for livestock is a really great part of this game. It can help sustain you long term. You can milk sheep and cows and stuff like that. Of course, you can get their meat and skin from them in a desperate situation. I don't think you can breed them just yet. I do believe he's talked about implementing that, but um, as of right now, I don't think so. But anyway, they're not. it's not hard to get your hands on them. So what I'll do now, since we don't really want any sheep right away, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the map with F6. Now, since we're in the village, I can just add a marker here with the A button, and I'm going to put sheep here. So that way I remember in the later on exactly which villages have what kind of animals and stuff. And I might even do that, like if I find a piece of really good armor, for instance, like a, a masterwork or a perfect, you know, battle axe or something crazy, I'll also mark that, you know, if something I can't afford right away, if I'm not going to be able to walk out of there with it, then yeah, I'll put that in a marker too. So anyway, I'm going to go through every one of these buildings and look for a bow and arrow. <laughs> Let's see here. I'll bring you guys along for part of the yarn. Oh, that yarn right there. That's something I'd really like to get my hands on. Yep, yep, yep. Mm, they got a lot of good stuff. See, this is what I'm trying to anyway. Not all these civilizations will be this wealthy. These, This is really one of the prime civilizations. So a lot of the times you'll come into some of the lesser civilizations or cultures and they will just have empty huts or it'll just be like a little bit of food and stuff. So that's why I specifically came here to this location. But um, anyway, let me finish up searching these last couple. And if we get one, I'll show you. If not, we're just going to move on. Well, 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 it's not a bow and arrow, but I did find a fine spear. And it's uh, I don't think there is a bow and arrow in this location. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab the spear and the woodsman's axe. That'll be huge if I can get my hands on both of those. I think I'll be, it'll be worth it. Now, I really want to try and avoid trading away everything right now because, like I say, I still want to look for, you know, some bows and arrows here. <laughs> so uh, let's just see what we can do. All right, so I've initiated trading. I'm going to offer him items. Let's just, I'm just going to start throwing up all the hides and skins and see if he'll take any of this stuff. It's, I don't think it's likely, but let's just see. All right, so most of it, is not acceptable but what we did offer is just a good start he says so we need to offer many many more things let's see inferior shovel and one regular shovel okay so he didn't want the inferior but he did take the regular and he says it's still just a start for us damn how about another shovel okay is only a start wow okay so 
man, oh man. Yeah, I mean, this is, I'm not surprised because these are some really good items we're asking here for. So I just gave him all my shovels. What about the feathers? Uh, yeah, he doesn't want feathers. Uh, now here's the thing is I can start getting into the, the food, but that's really the last kind of basically leverage I have here. Mm. Man, oh man, I don't want to do that though. I really don't. I want that stuff, but it's not worth it. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take it back inside and drop it. We need to get a bow and arrow first. That has to be the priority. Oh yeah, and I can't forget, I actually do have the leather boots. I could trade those away potentially too. So yeah, I'm just going to drop these items back on the floor and we're going to leave. Because that was the last of the structures. They do have pigs here, but they're not willing to trade them. So I didn't make the mark on the map. There's no point. Well, now, very importantly, this place actually has dogs for sale, at least one. And also, there's some arrows laying on the ground here, so I'm really hoping there's a bow here and not a crossbow, but we'll see. Now, the dogs, too, obviously can't afford it right now, but uh, in the future, that's going to be something we definitely want a lot of. Okay, now this place is getting better and better. There's a Masterwork Hand Axe and a Masterwork Woodsman's Axe here. I think I'm going to go back and add those on the note. Yeah, I'm going to put it on the second saying Masterwork Axes. Doesn't need to be long, just enough to remind myself there. So, yeah, that's pretty sweet. But I'm um, still looking for the bow, but there's still plenty of buildings left to check. Oh my god, well I searched the whole village and couldn't find them, so I came back to the arrows and the hunting bow is right next to it. So we've got ourselves a bow and 18 arrows here. I'm just going to leave the knife. I don't want that. So we're going to come out here. Oh good, first villager we see. I'm going to trade with him. Um, you know what? Actually, hold on. That's not true. There's something else I want to get and it's some of the yarn. I swear I saw some yarn. And they have a ton of stuff. But I think we can probably sneak in a little bit of yarn in this trade uh, because it's pretty essential for making arrows and stuff. So let me find some of that and then we'll do the trade. Okay, well here we go. So I have gotten uh, 150 feet of thin uh, linen cord or something, yarn or whatever. So it's time to trade here. Um, let's see. Now I will put the leather boots on there. And these three crude staves. Yeah, I brought those just to try them. Probably not going to work, but we'll see. Also, the leather's going up there. Okay, very good. Let's get all that selected. Oops. He'll probably not want any of this, but we'll see. You have selected maximum number of entries. Oh, okay. All right, let's see. Nope. Okay, so we rejected most of it, but he says what we have offered is a good start. So... Let's see what else we got. I still haven't offered the shovels, so let's put those up. Okay. Ooh, doubled. That's good. That's progress. Does he want that? Okay, he'll take that. Interesting. So, what else? I mean, at this point, there isn't much else except for some of our food, which kind of sucks. But So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to offer him half this stack first. We'll do 40. Oh, okay, two-thirds. Let's go ahead and give him the rest. All right, so now we're getting promising. That means we're getting close to this trade, to the end of this trade here. So let's give him 10 of these. See what he says. Pleasantly close. All right, I'll do the other 12. Oh, even just a few more things. Let's try. He might not want these because they're bland. Let's see. Ah, a few more. All right, uh, let's do six here. We're getting there. We're, uh, trust me, we're getting there. Hopefully it won't take too much more. Uh... Okay, let's try these. There we go. Give him the roasted meat. He'll take that. He can eat that immediately. Awesome. So, boom. We've got ourselves a bow and arrow, folks. Oh, and some yarn. Now, let me actually go in. I want to check something real quick about the weapons. Let's go to arrows. I hope. Let's say one. Okay, yeah, one foot of yarn. See, it says it requires one foot of yarn. So, that's what we just picked up, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, I've got linen yarn, 150 feet. So we should be able to make our own arrows now since I picked up that yarn because we have feathers, we'll have rocks and branches too. So that's awesome. We can make 150 arrows <laughs> if we need, which we probably will eventually. But uh, that's pretty huge. Now I could, I'm going to warm up because I'm actually a little bit cool here. So I'm going to go to the fire, but I could attempt to do more trading, but ultimately we would be trading where? Food. 
That's the only thing really I have left. So we've got nine, a little over 10 pounds of food. I'd like to kind of keep that. I think we should probably head home with what we've got. It was a very short trading trip, trust me. Like there'll be times when I'll come over here, like in previous playthroughs, loaded with like four or five cows, just like loaded with goods and stuff. Spend, you know, multiple days over here in the area, just trading from village to village. But like I said, right now we're just scrounging for anything we can get. And to be honest, a fine hunting bow with 18 arrows is pretty huge. So that's, we're setting ourselves up for a good, good uh, winter, the rest of the winter and spring and summer, not to mention. So uh, I say, like I, like I said, I'm going to warm up and then we're just going to head home. Okay, well, we are back in the general vicinity of our, our, of our shelter here. Let's take a quick look. So you can see I'm the little red dot here. I'll zoom in a little bit. So we're there. Our shelter's right there. We're pretty close. We, we traveled all this distance here. You can see it was a good little distance, a good little trip. Eventually, what I'm going to probably do is set up our, our permanent base somewhere here near the purple because I think the end goal is to, is to wipe out the purple civilization. They're hostile. We don't want them on the map, so we got to get rid of them. But uh, that's, like I say, long-term. Oh, look at this. A forest reindeer. Hold your horses here. Nice. Now, my only issue with this encounter is just that there's a forest kind of ahead of us. So ooh, if, if I chase them, yeah, we might be screwed. But um, I can definitely take a shot at them. As you can see, I've got the fine hunting bow and the arrow wielded in my hands here. So I've, I'm ready to go. I did that as soon as I bought the things. So now I'm just going to hit T for basically throw. Think of T as throw. Uh, but it also fires your arrow. So I'm just going to fire at this closest one see what happens. Oh, we missed it. We overshot. So let's actually take a shot at this baby. Yeah, I'm going to put it right here and put my trigger on the baby. There we go. Oh, did we get it? Yeah, I actually punctured its foreleg. It's carrying our arrow. So we've got to go after that sucker now. Let's get that baby. Now, I also want to try and get my arrow along the... Oh, look. Damn it, there is a freaking forest right here. Oh, shoot. All right, yeah, my worst fears have been realized. Uh, that baby is probably long gone. Um... Maybe not, since most of the troop or pack looks like it's still kind of hanging out here. The baby might come back. Mm, this is tricky. See these forests, these woods? Ah, just make it impossible to hunt these things. There's a baby right there. Is that the one? I don't think that's probably not the one. Oh, it is. Oh, it is. Okay, I cannot stealth. They clearly see me here, but uh, they're just going to disappear into these woods, man. See that? They just, they, they're just they just gone. So what we can do maybe is come out a little bit. And it's possible to re-encounter them. Oh, never mind. Check it out. We got ourselves an elk. So that's great news. So I'm totally going to forget about the reindeer. <laughs> now, if you'll see, we've actually got 47% here. So I want to get that down. So what I'm going to do is just go ahead and rest here. For a moment or two hit alt and rest that okay so good it didn't disappear it just moved a little bit but it's actually kind of close to the forest here too so i'd love to encounter it and take it yeah from this direction beautiful all right let's get this sucker now an elk Ooh, we're behind it look at that we're how close we are so let's shoot this because we an elk is a very big target it's likely we are going to hit this nope we missed it <laughs> Okay, let's try again. We're not tired at all, so we should be able to... Dang, how are we missing it? Mm, okay, I'm not going to waste another arrow, but I am going to start chasing it. Because it's spooked, so we've got to stay on its trail. Now, essentially, we kind of go... There's our arrow over there. Damn, I want to get that. But it's okay. We don't need it. I can always make more, so we got to stay on the animal. Now, let's take a quick look. Just want to see it. All right, it is slightly fatigued. So at this point, it's kind of similar to the attrition hunt where we just keep it in our sights as much as possible. Of course, it's going to break away from us. And the only difference is we instead of like running at it most times, I might try and sneak up on it a little bit like this, you know, just kind of move stealth a little bit, maybe take a shot at it occasionally if I can get close. But that's a little too far when it's at the edge like that. That's not the best spot for it. Now it's actually, okay, now we can shoot it. That's real close. Good. Oh, man. How are we missing? 
we're not that bad of a shot. I don't get it. Oh, wow. This is like our first attempts with a bow and arrow. We're just terrible. Let me look at skills. I mean, skills, if you look, bow is like our, it's one of our highest things. We're talented. So uh, we're just getting unlucky. Let's keep going. All right, I'm going to hide till we find it again. I think it's down in this direction. You can see I've already wasted quite a few arrows, but oh, there's two of them right there. Wow, we got lucky. So <clears throat> let's take a look at him, see if his fatigue's gone up in it all. Um, nope, he's still a little bit fatigued, so I'm just going to keep pushing him. Maybe I can grab some of these arrows here. All right, he's running. Let me move. The problem is if I spend too long with him off screen, that gives him more and more time to rest. So we really want to avoid like meandering about picking up arrows and stuff. That's not the best thing to do when you're tracking. All right, so, oh, there he is. All right, let's look at him. It's a her. I should call it a her. This is a female, slightly fatigued, and it's a small elk, but that's okay. I'll take anything right now. Let's try. I wish I could put an arrow in this sucker. I swear that would help things out a lot, I think, but <laughs> I'm just going to stay persistent here. Let's keep on her. Where is she? Ooh, I outran. There she is. All right. Um, maybe I can try a shot again. Ah, she took off running. Let's run after her a little bit. Oh, crap. You see this HL elevation change? You know what that means. She's gone into the woods, my friends. Ah, oh, look at that. St tracks go straight into the woods right there. Oh, wait a second. Maybe she's going to come out the other side. Because check this out. This is a small little patch of wood. Oh, there she is. Yep, she's running on the other side of the woods there. I see her. All right, let's get her. She headed basically this direction. There, There's her tracks. All right, there she is. All right, let's look at her. She was doing some running. Let's hope. Okay, she's still only freaking slightly fatigued. Man, she. I need to put an arrow in her. All right, let's try this shot. Okay, I'm, I'm shooting her. What? Oh, crap, I don't have the arrow ready. That's fine. Here we go. She's still standing there. Let's go. Damn you. Oh. Wow. He's just, he's so bad at it. <laughs> All right, let's go. Okay, I'm going to try another shot at it. Let's go. It's moving a little closer to me like a dummy. We're, we're, our fatigue's really high. It's, it's pretty much, I'm kind of wasting arrows at this point. I really shouldn't be doing that anymore. But, um, yeah. And at this point, I'm a little bit worried too, just how high our endurance level's gotten because I don't think we're going to be able to complete this hunt without resting. And that means I might lose this sucker. Let's see here. She's getting close to these forests too a lot, but oh, see, she just went right into the forest, but luckily she's sticking like, she'll go back into the marsh area, see? So she's teasing me, man, she's teasing me. Let's look at her too. <laughs> she's, okay, she's actually fully fatigued now. That's good, good news. Because at least we're making a little bit of progress despite the fact that I'm getting fatigued as well. So, oh crap. Now I think she might've just gone into the woods. Yep, there she is. Do you see her? Oh, she just popped out of view. Okay, okay, come on. Damn it, she's going into the woods. I see her. I see her. Oh, no, this is tough. I don't know. I don't know. There's a lot of tracks around here. Let's see here. Hmm. See, the, the good news is she's fatigued, but the bad news is I don't think she's totally breathless, so she can still outrun us, pretty much. And in this forest, she has a tremendous advantage. Now, you can kind of start to see what I'm talking about with trying to track animals in these forested areas. It's really not feasible. I mean, I'm sure you might get lucky occasionally, but you're going to waste a lot of time tracking this stuff when you could just be out in the middle of the open marshland, like out here having an easy go of it. But sadly, I think we have to give up on that one. Let's see, how many arrows did I lose? Ooh, six arrows. Yikes, that's okay. We'll get home. We'll make some more. No worries, guys. Don't worry. We're going to have plenty of successful hunts in the future. We've got a bow and arrow, so that's huge for uh, the upcoming seasons. Anyway, thank you so much for joining me, guys. If you enjoy the content, hit like and subscribe. Check the description down there for the Patreon and the Discord links, and I will see you on the next episode. 
Hey everybody, thanks for watching, and now check out this fan art by a couple of my Discord members, Finn and Vita. It's pretty good, and I love the cuttlefish.